What's up, WWE Champions Universe? It's Lee and Rusty from Champions Chat, and we are in part two. Yes, this is a power rating video that's individually self-contained for Heavy Metal Rhea, but this is part two. Rusty, tell them why it's part two, and, and tell them what you were just saying before we cut the video. It's part two of a series of power ratings trying to determine who is the queen of the category. This is a new thing that we're doing. We hope it entertains you. We hope it enthralls you. We hope it tantalizes you. We hope it pleases you and pleasures you beyond your wildest imaginations. Because, Lee, we have my favorite female superstar in the game. Really? Power ratings. She came out during our seventh anniversary month before power ratings existed. Yep. She was um, the the apple of my eye uh, that month because I my female roster really needed an overhaul um, and because she was just rock and roll, right? I mean, so like as she, like this superstar is actually like as cool as the real Rhea Ripley, and True. Um, she doesn't take a whole lot the way I feel like Indy takes a whole lot. Now, well, we're going to um, find Rhea out. Does have tricks up her sleeve, and we'll see all that. But I'm curious um, to see how she compares. We've seen what Indy can do, and we know it takes a lot. All right. Well, let's find out. And you know what? Uh, just to, to quote someone else, uh, the leader of Woken, you know, the top faction t statistically by rankings of how they do in events in the game, uh, made the comment that Rhea Heavy Metal was a character that should not have been free. Now, she wasn't free, but that month there were some oopsies, there were some things... A lot of people who played that month, like way more than usually get a chase character, got this character. And she, I mean, she ranks up there, well, we're going to see with Indy, right? Uh, so I'm going to run her her most basic way first. We kind of ran Indy the hardcore way first and pulled it back. I'm going to run her her more basic way first. That way everybody can see it uh, and then judge fairly from there. But here's the move set: six MP black spinning forearm smash, deal damage, make 28 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 120k damage and make three random gems blue at the end of the countdown. Uh, six MP purple two-handed choke slam, deal damage, choose a four columns to make into multiply gems of strength six, and a six MP black headbutt, deal damage, decrease all countdown gem timers by one. So, I don't have Mello. He's a rare trainer. We're not going to start with Mello on there. I will show you what he what she does with Mello in a moment. But nice. instead, you've got both versions of Woods, purple and black, MP starting right there, and you do need Santa Hogan to get loaded turn 1. So, 3 out of her 4 entourage members are only there for MP. Gunter is the only one who's given damage, but blue gems 30%, multi gems 60% right there. So, dang. Uh, and then on the strap, it's the same one we just had on Indy, 50% gem damage, double fury 2. Only trick we're running on it right now is hard times. Whenever you make six or more countdown gems, increase your blue and yellow gem damage by 100% for two turns. So she has one trick on her. Uh, yeah, Rusty, you've run her a lot. How do you think she's going to hit? Well, um, with this setup and no mellow and plus Santa, right? Obviously, there's some diminished returns because of how much it takes to get her going. If you have mellow, if you have a line bonus, you're doing a lot better. You get a lot more damage out of there. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing, guys. Um, Hard Times Play was on the um, the MLC five star prize wall recently, yep. and it was it was during a month where you could still get the um, free superstar two five star in the first week of the of the contest where it it's a five more, week month. Yeah, and it's a little it's a little more challenging now to get 
right. that um, superstar to five star. So I feel like hard times accessible, but it probably some spend went into it. Yeah. Probably some, probably some, some, some hard work and some gameplay. Right. How's she gonna hit? I, I think 50, 55 million, maybe right. sixty. With well, this let's setup. see. Yeah, I, yeah, the hard times is still one rare thing, but that's one rare thing. That's all. Right. That's all. And great reminder from Merrick's, that's a plate that people are able to pull out of a feud bag as well. So, yeah. you know, RNG determines your fate there. That's right. So the way we run her is you put down the black spinning forearm first, count down Jim's hit, and go off to give a little bit of damage. It's like a 2 million hit. Then, yes, you overwrite them with multis. Uh, pick the ones that have the least amount on there, but the countdown gems that are left are going to overwrite the board in blue. So you're going to be fine. Right. You put these out six times six multis, and then you decrease the gem timers by one. Whole board torn, turns blue. And you've done 64, almost 65 million. Nice. Just like that. So here's the point for the power rankings. Power ranking for power, the power category within the power rating, it's a five if you get 60 or higher. So both Rhea and Indy are fives instantly. Right. So it doesn't matter that Rhea, or that Indy hit 130 million while Rhea hit 65 million. They're both right. fives, right? But what if we add mellow? What if we add mellow? Uh, another another thing you could add would be the Tiffy plate, which oh. is oh, oh I was gonna get there. Pretty pretty juicy. Yeah. Um, so we power rate her based on what we just saw. That's where we're power rating. But now, if we want to play with her top end, let's start with the Tiffy plate. And then we'll add mellow, and then we'll just show her annihilating. Because now we're starting to get to the number of rare things that Indy had on her. But but what we just saw was what we power rate. Like that was with n very little rare, if any, rare things. I love it. The Merrick's perspective is: I think Rhea needs less. Both have similar top end, but Indy is faster. I love that. I'd agree. I mean, I would, Merrick's no. is sensei. He, he is Yoda, so I, I'm i not going to disagree with him. Daddy Merrick's. We should probably start calling him Daddy. Just, uh... <laughs> Boss. Boss. Oh, that was 90 million right there. <laughs> and Baby Ice. <laughs> Did you see Baby Ice's comment? <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, say that I do say, like a lot of times with like a, a loot I'll be like the loot is juiced like I use the word juicy to mean good um yeah so well uh, Rhea has a juicy top end is what we just found out and pause lord lord lord, pause. lord save us uh yeah you know I don't know that daddy Merrick's would say that so <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh, my <laughs> gravy train. All right. Well, let's throw on Mello and Sherry. We're going to skip Matt. We don't need to see the half step in between. We're just going to go straight for Mello and Sherry. Gosh. the 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 um, This is the monster build. I mean, this is this build takes so much that she starts to resemble Indy. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. I mean, like. You're running your Rhea the same way most people run their indies with all the rare goods and services. Sandel wrestles on the indies. Oh wait, that's a different that's a different conversation. Gotcha. Did we Oh Mare Rex. So Papa Rex. That makes sense. I was like, where are they getting this Rex from? Okay, that the chat is the chat is pretty juicy oh. tonight, for the record. Hundred and fifty okay. million turn oh. one. Easy was, mode, easy mode. I was about to say, I'm on delay. Let me see how, how it hits. <laughs> and then you, yeah, 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 it's like 153 million. Yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. So we're power rating her based on the first set. That required nothing except for one maybe rare plate in the hard times. 
Into... Uh, and she did she did sixty seven million with that. But you got a few tricks. I was gonna say I've been so distracted by the chat. Did you also add the Tiffy plate? I did. I did. Okay. Yeah. I didn't talk about it, but whenever you activate a purple move, you increase your blue gem damage by 250%. So, you know, that's that's a lot. That's a big one. I don't personally have a Tiffy plate. I know some people who have two. I don't the even whales know. are there. Only the whales. <laughs> Only the whales. All right. Well, let's... He's what was that me. last thing you said? What was that? What was I that said thing? He's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have had some I have had not in the loot I have had contest luck the last month or two my loot you've seen my loot we record the loot you know the loot situation folks but my contest right. situation has been really good um I've had really good RNG returns on the contests and yep. spent spent yeah <laughs> like, something luck plus money equals champions <laughs> right uh so hip designer pointed out feuds have started but uh but you're going to want to keep what? us on because we're about to do some polls videos after this i want to say lee was actually hoping no one would tell me feud had started so i would stay focused on our on our stream tonight <laughs> oh well you got to stay focused for this if you don't want to pay attention during your polls i mean i'll just I'll tap the top. I'll tap all oh, over. Oh, I won't. don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> now it's bottom. Listen, to honor my daughter who does a lot of pulls with me, she likes to tap on the belt. So now I tap the bottom of the belt. That's where I tap oh, okay. the, the WWE symbol in uh -huh. between the W. That's my, that's my desired clicking spot now. Well, I'm good to know where you desire me to click your spot so for a five on power ratings under power you know 60 million 100 percent of 60 million would get you a five Rhea very easily hit 60 million even with uh not really any tricks on speed my goodness all of these are true at least two of the following are true mp charge is equal to or less than six mp she recycles flawlessly her animations are quick okay so she doesn't recycle that's the one piece but two or more of them are true, so that is a five on speed. So we're right. ready to go to uh, readiness. We're ready to go to readiness, and I don't have a Discord poll up for this one, so we need everybody in the chat to participate uh, so that we know we're being the most fair here. So for a five, character needs zero or one special thing, which would be a plate, a gear, a moment, or a rare trainer. We didn't have a moment on, she doesn't have gear. I didn't use Mellow for the first build at all, so the only rare thing there should be hard times. Not trying to influence things. For a four, character needs two special things. For a three, character needs three special things. And for a two, character needs four special things. So, Rusty, I turn it over to you, my friend. You're muted. One moment. Sorry, I had a... Uh... A little coaching about how we should not eat a lunchable, a pizza lunchable on my bedspread. Paul is alive. I'm sorry Welcome that you have Brian. to tell your your wife not to eat pizza lunchables on your bedspread, but I was telling you, it was my inner monologue. I had to I had to work out. No, so like Homer Simpson, do not do that. <laughs> Paul is live. Um, Paul is live. Yeah, someone is feuding. <laughs> is live i'm not feuding i well i'm feuding with my son not to eat the pizza lunchable on my maybe uh, the stream could be sponsored by lunchables oh yeah because <laughs> we dropped sponsorship prime. with prime since they never got back to us or hey, knew we we're still waiting to hear. Uh, the call is out right we're just waiting to hear back we haven't got a rejection letter yet so it's not a no i didn't send a letter <laughs> but that's great to get it uh rose will no. sorry yeah. Uh, Rose Willina, I would. I'm not going to get a pitchfork out for you saying a three in the category. I just don't see it. Uh, the only thing that we used that was special was the plate, like one plate. There's no possible way around that. There was one special thing used. Yeah, I'm not sure about that vote. Yeah, that that vote is. Uh, 
Baby Ice, where are you at? <laughs> let's let's disqualify some things here because literally oh, this one we is used objective. Common trainers. We used very common trainers, right? And the one special thing would have been the hard times plate. So okay. I don't even know that that is subjective, is it? Well, okay, so they are saying Zombie Gunther they considered special, which fair um if you got zombie i'm sorry if you participated uh during last zombie month there was a big oopsie i feel like we say that a lot and you could get zombie gunther guaranteed so everybody could get zombie gunther for free whether or not you did determines if you were playing or if you chose other things on that prize wall so uh run it with ozzy Mary says, I mean, "Run it with Ozzy." We're gonna do. Yeah. We're gonna do a run it back just for you. Yeah. Just for you. We'll run it back I'm, with Ozzy because Ozzy is the least rare. Everybody got Ozzy. And then we're gonna revote this bad boy. And let me just ask: Was it the hard times plate? Those of you that voted three, type in the chat why you voted three. I just would love to know what what was it about Rhea's setup. Now, I hope you didn't vote based on Mello and Sherry and the things we showed you at the end. That that that, that was not. That was just to make a you know make a demonstration of what she's possible. Okay, right. plate. plate. Gunther. All right. Okay. Any, uh, so let's let's show it without. So here's the plate. That's the only rare thing there. Entourage, literally all free to play. Hundred percent free to play entourage right there. Somebody wrote feud ruined the vote. They were just clicking. <laughs> yeah. So maybe very possible. Very possible. I feel like Gunther's in a lot of entourages we do, and he's never been the the takeaway or the down tick because of it. Yeah, that's I, that's true. I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking. Is this is uh, this is the first time we've ever got pushback on Zombie Gunther? But I mean, I'll 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 begrudgingly agree if we go to a four. But look right here, bam, bam, bam. That's sixty million on the nose with the hard times plate and that is it that's Aussie yeah that's a hard times plate so that's one special thing guys <laughs> right and then yeah I guess it like where they're saying like only there were only five votes so I didn't I don't think I noticed the number of votes right um, okay well that makes me feel better because yeah, yeah. I, I I've never used my override powers here, but this is this is objective. There was one special thing right. on there, so that is a five. I think mean, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Not very many people voted on that one. Uh, and again, we're we're up against feud. We tried to be done before feud, but it didn't happen. Ha! Baby ice. That's I talk awesome. too much. That's why. I'll be honest. That's why it happened. <laughs> Uh, Derek, uh, Derek said, I always downvote for, for people for, that use Gunther. And that's fair. That is absolutely fair. Merrick saves the day, though. Merrick saves the day. Like always. Super Merrick's is here. Daddy. Daddy Dom. Daddy Merrick's. All right, yeah, well then, yeah. let's move on to versatility. Uh, while Rusty gets that ready for a five... Character's competitively usable in Feud, Boss, and Showdown. Character has a special gem type that will help with Entour... I'm sorry, with Extreme Rules, with Boss, and with Gem Mania. For a four, character's competitively usable in two of the big three modes, Feud, Boss, or Showdown. Still has to have a special gem type. For a three, character's competitively usable in only one of those modes and maybe a sleeper for boss. And for a two, character is not strong in any competitive mode but may be capable of winning in tours. So, yeah. I'm going to launch the poll now. We'll try see to see more than it. five people. 
that was only ten percent of the the viewership on uh, on Twitch. I don't. We. I never watch you. I can't pull YouTube up. I have four windows going on two screens right now, so I can't pull YouTube up. But I like the. I like that she's a legend, but her legend link doesn't necessarily. I think the legend link needs to be reworked. Um, I, I just that's not. There's no advantage, although she's in a rare category, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, all five. We Okay, there's about 20 seconds left. Get in your votes. We got five saying she is a uh, a five. Yeah. Which I, I wouldn't disagree. I, I mean, the, the trainers are all there that she can start loaded turn one almost no matter. Again, everybody gets bumped in showdown by... Oh, that is a huge, like a runaway vote for fives. Right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, then. Yeah. Comes down to Entourage ability. <clears throat> Let's see what Entourage she has here. <laughs> uh, at 26K, green sub moves last two more turns. Green moves start with two more points. Trainer ability, green subs last two more turn. Green moves start with two more points. For that to be a five, that needs to be an essential trainer or coaching ability that adds something you don't want to go into battle without. For that to be a four, it's a widely used trainer or coaching ability that helps the character they're used reach their full potential. For a three, that is a niche trainer or coaching ability. It may not be used much, but is very valuable when needed. And for a two, it offers something that you're missing if you don't have other trainers. All right. Poll is starting now. Did you tell us what her entourage ability was? I did. Yeah, you yeah. want me to re repeat it? It's uh, green subs last two more turns. Green moves start with two more MP. Two MP. I've been using Rhea a lot for stip tours because the oh. stip gems now really matter. Um, I don't necessarily want the sub extended in other formats. It'd be a waste in boss battle. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I use it a lot, so I'm gonna vote four. It's it's not quite a Carmelo Hayes status, but it sure is good. I, I use it on uh, Nation of Domination Rock when I'm using him for Gym Mania. Mm -hmm. Other than that, sub meta. I mean, the hard thing is we're not in a meta right now where subs are relevant on anyone, but that'll change. That'll change quick. So, so <clears throat> let me just answer. Yeah, and Lee said it earlier, um, hip designer. So, how many free to play players have gone zombie Gunther? It just depends on if they were playing during last October Zombie Month because right. there was there was a, a, a an in game situation where they gave away enough prize wall medallions to claim him for free at the end of the month. Um, yep, and so. He he kind of permeated the community from that event. Yeah. Um, Zombie with... Gunther is the Piper plate issue again. Like you, you could have got, everyone in the game should have a Piper plate if you played during a certain month, because Merrick's made how many videos saying take the Piper plate, take the pipe, don't take Piper, and half of the two of us on this stream listen to that. Uh, <laughs> but right. there was also another event with Zombie Month where you could get Gunther guaranteed if you used your pride with all medallions, but you could also take other things. So it was a choice issue, not an availability yeah. issue. Yeah. I made a bad choice with Piper. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> I am happy to know Merrick's wrote lots to Gunther and Sheriff's badge. Lots took zombie Becky and live. I yeah. took Gunther and the Sheriff badge. Yeah. Um, I always wished I had the last ride plate. Um, I feel like I missed out on a lot of fun with Dexter Loomis because of that. Yeah. I mean, Zombie Live wasn't a bad pick. For me, like, we're not power rating Zombie Becky tonight, but, zo like, okay, here's here's the we'll, – we'll reveal – it's already on screen, but we'll reveal in a moment who won the showdown. But the reality is if you've got what? Indy, if you've got Heavy Metal Rhea, and if you've got Zombie Live or Zombie Becky – 
Th- those are my top three females, period. All of them hit insane damage. All of them are quick clicks, easy to use. All of them are amazing. Acrobat females is the most loaded category in the game. And Rusty, yeah. based on our pretty proven system, who won? <laughs> who won? I'm I'm I can't believe it because I'm looking at the score right now and Heavy Metal Rhea has a 24, where that's like up there with like Great Muda status. Um, yep. Indy got a 22 and we were on the line. She could have been a 23 easily. I think she should have been, but I'm not sure any of these votes were on the line and could have been up or down. I mean, this felt like yep. a pretty fair. Uh, a vote all around. That I'd give her a three for entourage ability myself, but even, even still, you're talking 20, 23, 23, 24, and Indy's 22, 23. So, yeah. Rhea gets the edge. Uh, so, Rusty, in the most stacked category in the game, and to Merrick's point, ironically, Acro Males is the least stacked category, Acro Females. In the most stacked category in the game, Rusty, who who's the queen of the category your new queen of the category is heavy metal Rhea. i love it i i yeah now i mean gosh right if you have indy you need to feel really good about your life though um because she's oh, I do. in many ways better right and with speed better um, but is she overall more valuable on the roster? That's and that's where this is kind of a fun debate, right? Yeah. Who adds overall value? I, I, the power rating says Rhea. Lee, you <laughs> have both. Who do you think adds overall more value? Honestly, uh, so I don't have Carmelo, uh, so I can run her like this, but I can only hit the sixty-five million. So, so for me in feud in showdown whatever indie is three clicks move right. place click click boom done um yes my favorite uh, is still zombie becky zombie becky is a little more chaotic and there's times where she doesn't hit because something went wrong but most of the time she'll hit in the 70 80 90 million range depending on what happens uh so funny but but yes. Rhea, like Rhea sits right in the middle of them. She's the consistent, like she is going to be your workhorse. She's going to be the one who wins. Right. Right. So I'm not upset about this. I prefer Zombie Becky. I'm going to use Indy. But Rhea is absolutely right up there. And I think she's I, the dark horse that snuck ahead at the end. Okay. Well, I'll say this. My... Um, I think Indy's more valuable simply because of that reversal. Stealing the multis and making them her own, that is a bad mamma jammy. And we're in a six gold meta where multis are everything. Um, I will concede to the power rating and acknowledge the and trust that the community got it right. Ultimately, if you have both or either, you're doing really, really good. You're doing really good, right? So there's nothing to disparage here, friends. Um, right. But gosh almighty, that, that multi gem steel move is insane. You don't want to go up against it. And there's something to be said for that. So yeah. I would probably I would probably push the edge to Indy. And if Indy and Rhea were to match up against each other, it's literally impossible for Rhea to win the battle. Yep. I that's what I was gonna kinda say is like at the end of it all. If you have Rhea versus Indy in the game, Indy wins hands down because Rhea's biggest weapon is taken away from her and turned into Indy's play toy. Yeah. But, but yeah. the power ratings don't lie. Um, yeah, well, we're we're running, we're actually running way later than usual, and we got to get to some polls. So, uh, Rusty, why don't you close us out on this? Because we're about to do some polls showdown now that we got the queen of the castle here. We are so thankful that you watched this, and we'd love for you to be on with the next power rating that we do. We're on every Friday night on the WWE Champions main channel on Twitch.tv. Tune in and join us so that you can cast your vote 
and help us make sure we get it right. We'll see you next time, friends. Bye.